Right, so that eagle's returned. I'm gonna see if I can um, attract his attention and give him a nice big mullet. Well, it's only a small mullet. Seen it. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. What? Didn't want to take it. It's strange. I'll chuck it over here. There you go. Check it out. That thing is. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he dropped it. Oh. Oh. Little thief. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, there's two of them. Excellent. One of them's going to get it. There he goes. Oh, he got it. There you go. There's the other one. There's two of them. There must be a pair. Yeah, that turn. <laughs> Tried to steal it, but um, no. Hello, uh, I'm back. Finally, doing some more content for my outdoor channel, which I haven't been doing much of. Excuse me, I'm just gonna have a bit of a drinky. I've just come back from a quick stroll, testing out this. I'll be telling you about it. I'll just put it down for now. And uh, all for you. Well for you. So what it is, it is a Mountain Designs Trekker 45 backpack. And I'll just read you the the what was on the actual pack itself. Mountain Designs, a heritage born of the mountains. Right. You know, here in Australia we don't really have any serious mountains, so yeah. Our Trekker 45 hiking pack is a reliable all-arounder built for multi-day trekking with a highly durable ripstop fabric, large top-loading main compartment and multiple storage pockets. Conveniently access your gear through the hood flap or zippered bottom opening. The adjustable padded harness with load adjusters provides a personal fit to boost your comfort levels on the trails. And features 45 litre capacity, highly durable. DWR finish. Yeah, something to do with water resistance, waterproofing. Compressible. Yeah. Breathable. Yeah. Hydration compatible. Yeah, it is hydration compatible. It's got a it's got a spot for your bladder to go into. Um, let's see. We know the performance of our product is essential to your adventure. After all, our company was founded on the side of a mountain. I don't know what mountain it was founded on. I, I'm, I think the guy who started the company was in Bendigo or somewhere. Not many mountains there. For that reason, our products are purpose-made with quality and functionality to meet whatever challenge the outdoors bring. Or the outdoor, the outdoor brings. Should be the outdoors bring. Yeah. Anyway, bad English. Um, so, I'll give you a brief rundown. Mountain Designs, I think, was established in something like in the late 70s uh, by an Australian guy, I think in Bendigo or somewhere, country Victoria. Anyway, uh, it was eventually bought out by the Spotlight Group. The Spotlight Group own Anaconda, which is an outdoors and sports store, where, where I get most of my stuff from. I'm, I'm not sponsored by Anaconda. Um, and uh, uh, interestingly enough, the Anaconda that I go to has a spotlight right next to it. But Spotlight is the uh, is an umbrella organisation that owns everything. And because Spotlight owns uh, Anaconda and um, the Mountain Designs brand, you will find a lot of Mountain Designs equipment and gear, clothing, packs, whatever. Uh, walking poles, yeah, I've, I've got a fair bit of mountain design stuff, it's good stuff, you know, it's good stuff. Uh, it is made in China, but hey. Um, the only issue that I've ever had with Chinese gear is uh, stitching. Um, it can be pretty second rate, um, like that uh, LC1 Alice pack, the extra large, 
the actual bag that was on it was a little bit worse for wear, so I thought I'd get a new one, and uh, I didn't get a genuine one, I got a Chinese one, and the stitching on that, <laughs> uh, you know what, I haven't even carried it, and the stitching's coming apart, so yeah, sorry China, but you didn't make some shit, but it's not all shit, so Here's an example of something that's made in China that isn't shit. So this is the Trekker 45 by Mountain Designs. Designed in Australia, made in China. The only fear that I have for this pack is that the stitching will come apart. As I said before, that's where they really do fail. Um, it's quite a nice pack. Uh, I'll show you there. The, Pad, side padding, the padding is, is very nice, ample, really nice. The shoulder pads, um, really nice. It's got the usual, usual setup. Top, the top come flap compartment. You can store stuff in there. Let's see, what have I got in here? Let's open it up. Yep, so PLB and headlamp. Yep, they're two things you want to have easy access to. And uh, let's see what's another. So here's here's a back compartment, and uh, have easy access to that. Not quick access, and that's yeah, first aid. Uh, and the rest is in the main compartment. So it is one large, one large compartment, but you do have a bottom access. So I'll undo that. You do have bottom access. You can get the stuff from the bottom um, if you want to. Um, the zippers are pretty good. Um, that's another area where the Chinese stuff sort of falls down. Um, so, so I did I did pack it with sort of uh, make do, um, you know, uh, set up with what I would take, what I would normally take. Um, so. Also, you've got, you got two uh, elastic side pockets. It's a lightweight tripod. And you also got another thing. And a water bottle. And the other one. So, you've got two elastic side pockets. You've got cinch straps pretty much everywhere. Um, it is highly adjustable. Um, you've got your... Uh, that's for your water bladder access. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's a great pack. I mean, it really is. My only fear is that um, the may not last. Again, stitching made in China. Um, hopefully, that's not the case. Um, the reason why I got it is I was actually at Anaconda poking around. I always go in there, have a bit of a look around, see what's new. If there's anything that I'm interested in, because they always all they always have um, specials on stuff. And um, when I saw it, it was on special for 99 bucks, which is cheaper than you could ever get it anywhere. So I grabbed it. Um, it's only 45 litres, which is good because uh, the next the next overnight camp or, yeah, that I do, we'll, I'm going to use that and uh, really test it out. And the reason I will use that is because it's only 45 litres and it limits how much I can put in the pack because yeah, I have a horrible habit of um, just overloading the packs. Yeah, so mm, that's not gonna happen. Um, now, what else do I report? Uh, I've gotta go to work tomorrow. I really hate it. Yeah, that sucks ass. So if you are, if you are considering a, um, a pack of about that size, around 45 liters, which I think, like I'll show you the footage of me carrying it. Um, yeah, um, I'll show you the footage of me carrying it. There you go. I'm just uh, testing out a new pack. Um, I was at my local outdoor store, which is Anaconda. I'll tell I'll tell you right exactly what it is. Um, I'm not sponsored by Anaconda, but you know that's where I go get most of my stuff. Anyway. I'm back at the Dalrymple Gap walking track at the Gearing Gun National Park. 
just gonna go for a short stroll nothing too crazy um looks like we've got some tourists so i don't know whether they're sleeping or whether they're out there on the track or what so we'll go for a bit of a stroll eh? Uh, um, you know, I'm really, really lucky to um, be living in regional Queensland because, let me tell you, this whole COVID shit is just giving me the shits. No joke, it's just a joke. You know, every time there's a handful of, you know, one or two or whatever cases crop up it's oh lock the borders you know no oh, it's just it's a joke anyway um so um i'm at damper creek so this is damper creek very nice it's quite overcast sorry no sun um so this is quite nice the water's really clear coming off the mountain um, and I'm in my favourite boots, the old uh, Columbia's. Um, one thing I've noticed about the Columbia's, I've had them for quite a while now, is that um, they're starting to get a bit stinky. Um, so I'm going to have to do a bit of a treatment on them. I just spray them with, I can't remember what the spray is, and just leave them and it seems to fix it. But, um, so we're on the track. Um, so I just wanted to test out this pack. It looks good. It's a, um, what's it called? A Mountain Designs pack. Mountain Designs is, uh, was started in, I don't know, the 70s or something rather. And, um, then it was bought out by, uh, the Spotlight Group, which also owns Anaconda. So when you go to Anaconda, there's shitloads of, of, uh, Mountain Design stuff. Because they're owned by the same company. Um, actually the anaconda that I go to, <laughs> it's owned by Spotlight, and guess what store is next to it, right next to it, Spotlight, so, yeah, but, um, I'm just, uh, I'm going to do a bit of a, a bit of a stroll with the pack, just test it out, it feels really comfortable, um, yeah, I have to say, feels really good, um, it looked good, it was on special, We'll have a look at me again. Come on. Where's the screen? Damn it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was on special, I think. Of, they reckon it was 230 or something, or 300, or down to $99. Well... I've seen it on eBay for I think 160. Um, and there was another site it was for 137. So there are people selling it at a discount. Um, but they're on special for 99 bucks. Uh, must be discontinuing it or something. Anaconda have a tendency to. Um, I don't know, just sell off a whole bunch of stuff at discount prices. Like, I'll get all my luggage from there. Sound like an advertisement for them, don't I? Sorry. So let's talk about uh, the current issues of the day, which... Just touch screen. No. My front screen isn't a touch screen. Um... Yeah, all the bullshit that's going on, COVID, it just, it pisses me off. Now we've got a, um, Queensland, you've got a Queensland check-in app. So all, every shop, every, every anything has got a barcode or that UPC, whatever it is, code, QR code. And you're going to scan that you were there. I mean... Quite honestly, the um, George Orwell's dystopian reality is, it's really happening, you know, and they're just tracking everybody, it's a bloody joke, uh, here we come to another creek, I'm not going to go too far, I just want to test out, you know, just a bit of a stroll, 
Another creek. There you go. Lovely. Um, it's really, it's way steep uphill from here. Yeah, I'm not really all that keen on that. But if I, to get to the other end, it would have taken me twice as long. Um, I didn't really want to do that. I just want to take a short stroll with this. It doesn't take long to figure out if the pack's comfortable. It is, it is. Um, one of the, one of the reasons I got it is because I don't really have a decent, well, smaller pack. You know what I mean? Um, not a modern one. I've got the, um, the extra large, uh, Alice pack, American Alice pack, but, um, you can still shove a shitload in that thing, eh? I have a tendency to do that, you know? It's just stuff the crap out of the pack. And, um, when you've got a smaller pack, it, it, you've got no choice. Unless you want to hang all the crap off the outside of it and that. Um, whereas, with what I've got in this one right now, it's sort of pretty much what I would take. Um... Probably only one thing missing, that's uh, with this setup that I'm gonna have for this pack. I've got, I have got the, um, I've got the hammock. Um, it's sort of a toss up with a tight hammock, because it doesn't, it really folds down to nothing. You know, you roll it up and it's, it doesn't take up that much space. It's either that or um, what's called the, uh, the bivy bag. I've got a, um, Valhalla tactical bivy bag, bivy bag, um, ice cam, um, very, it's, a, it's an extra large one, so there's tons of room in it, um, so it's a toss up where to take that, or oh, the hammer, it really depends on the temperature, like, if it's hot, yeah, it's definitely hammock time, um, but if it's, if the nights are cool, cold, then um, the bivy bag, bivy bag, um, really comes in handy. Um, and you know, there's, there's no, there's, there's no, there's no uh, time wasted putting it up, taking it down. Whereas with the, the problem with the hammock is that you've got to have two trees strong enough to support you, and close enough, and not too close, and yeah. It's a lot of rooting around. Um, I do prefer... In the army, I did have a bivy bag. And, um... Yeah, there were many times. I remember... Uh, I think... Yeah. Thank God that I bought that. It was really expensive. It was a Gore-Tex one. Uh, a good one. And it really cost me heaps. But, man, that thing saved my... I don't know, it didn't save my life, but... Oh, it was good. It was really, really good. It was a little bit small for me, actually. This one is not a new one. Um, I tried to get a hoop for it. Went to um, a place in Townsville, Scorpion Tactical, and uh, I said to them, "Oh, you get Valhalla stuff." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we deal with them." And I said, "Can you get me a hoop for the beauty bag?" "Yeah, no worries. Give us your details. We'll give you a ring when it comes in." And that was. Whoop, I'm just crossing the creek again. I don't want to fall in. Not with the camera. Um, Never heard from them since, so yeah, so much for the scorpion. Um, yeah, don't have a very high regard at them. Uh, they're actually a coffee shop and sell, run by some, I don't know, a veteran or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, I got told about it by a work buddy who's, who's an ex army guy, young guy, JT. Um, so anyway, I'm back. That was, that was, you know, I, I don't really need much to test out a pack, you know. Um, you can tell straight away. If it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable. And uh, this is nice. I really like this. Um, yeah, like, the, the shoulder pads are really good. Um, fully adjustable. This one's a bit further down than that one. Um, shoulder pads are good. The waist pad is good. Um, yeah, I like it. It was a really good investment because I saw it, it was 99 bucks, and I thought, hey, 
see how we go. And, uh, yeah, she's good. All right, so I'll switch this off. Okay, back. So you saw all of that malarkey. Um, it is really comfortable. Like it is really, really comfortable and it's not too heavy, you know. You can't put too much crap in it. Um, yeah, so that's got fibres already. Fibres haven't been sealed properly. I need a lighter just to burn that. Yeah. They've just cut. Yeah. They haven't sealed the fabric properly. They've just cut it and of course it starts to fluff up. Fibers come out. I'm, yeah. In China, right, so we'll um, we'll have to wait and see when I come back and go for an overnighter just to see how good it is. Um, I probably will have to do a little bit of um, lighter work, just torching the um, loose fibers. Uh, let's see what else do I have to report? And that's pretty much it. Um, Hope everyone's well, and until I see you next time, see you later.